Okay, it's time to make a moss garden. And so here we are. What we're going to have is, we're gonna, I'm going to use a little vase today. Just a little glass vase. I want to tell you something about moss first, okay? It's been around for like, since dinosaur ages. It's one of the oldest plants living on the earth. It's hardy stuff. But it doesn't like certain things. And some people want to stick it in a closed in jar. And it's just not good for that. Okay? So you want to use some kind of open container like this would be fine. But you got to have some drainage. Okay? So we have pebbles, rocks. You can use rocks. You can use decorative rocks. You can use uh, small pebbles that are nice and smooth from the ocean or that you might buy or something. Um, I, I got these out of my front yard to be honest with you. And they, they work just fine because I actually like the real natural look for my gardens. Okay. So anyways, so we got this and, um, and so on. But I wanted to do something a little bit different. A little earlier today I went for a walk in my, uh, what I call my enchanted forest. It's this forest where there is all, for some reason, I think it's just a gift to me. Um, there's all kinds of moss and I actually gather it in, in uh, and uh, harvest it from time to time and I also sell it. Um, I sell um, little uh, foot square, one square foot of moss. It's assorted mosses. I have different kinds um, that you can use in your gardens and it's $25 and sometimes I throw in a little bit of lichen which can add color and um, and you can watch my uh, free instructional videos. You also can take classes from me on how to do all this stuff. At any rate, you want to use a few stones. So what I'm going to do here, you want to have stones for drainage. You don't want soil. Don't put any soil in it. It just doesn't need it. If there's soil on the bottom of the moss, that's fine. But don't like put like organic soil in there because the worst thing in the world for moss is a lot of wet, damp soil. We don't want that for moss, okay? And then as far as, as, far as taking care of the moss, there's not much you have to do. Um, it does require sunlight, but it has to be indirect sunlight. If you went for a walk in my enchanted forest, you would see that that, that forest is really dark in there, man. Sometimes I wonder if I've lost my eyesight. It's so dark in there. And, mo and the moss just flourishes in there. So, um, so that's one thing, but you don't want it. You want to have sunlight, but again, indirect sunlight. So don't stick it on a windowsill where you can get lots of sunlight. And then the other thing is, Maybe water it once a week, but don't fill up the container that you have it in with water. Make sure that it's enough just to get it wet, the moss, but without like soaking it and drowning it in water. Okay, don't do that because it doesn't like it. And, uh, and other than that, you're all set. If you overwater, you should be able to tip whatever container you have to get the water out. All right. That's why you have the, pe the pebbles because it keeps the moss off the water. So if the water gets in the bottom of the container, at least you've got the pebbles there for drainage and the moss isn't sitting in a puddle of water because again, it doesn't like it. So if you want moss, you can't find it and you don't know where to get it, I've got a really nice uh, square foot. It's a whole, it comes in a big baggie and I ship it to you and uh, it's $25 including shipping. And I put in an assortment of um, fine mosses, uh, different kinds, and some lichen, and just whatever I can stick in there to make it real sweet for you. And then you can make some really nice moss gardens. You don't need much for smaller ones, that's for sure. Um, and so, okay, so we have um, some rocks, as you can see. We have the mosses. We have a little bit of lichen. This is lichen. This usually grows on logs and that sort of thing. And we're going to have that in there for a little bit of that additional color. We have our little house. I cooked it up 275 degrees for 25 minutes. Here's the little house. It looks great. I like it. And um, we're also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt this jar and have it sit like this, this, this vase. And I'm going to put two of these little silicone uh, uh, ball feet on there so that it can uh, sit, you know, won't roll around. Okay, so we're gonna, we have that. And so uh, what I do is I also have, excuse me, a magic marker. And to make it easy for me to put the little feet on the jar, what, what, what I will do is I'll open up my magic marker. There we go. And I will just reach inside and I'll put a dot where I think those little guys should go. 
for each one. Like that. So you can see the, the dot on the, the dots. Now I can see that's a guide for me. It tells me where these little guys are going to go. So I just did a peel and stick. So I peel one off. They're very sticky, by the way. So we're just going to stick them on there. I think it will go right here just fine. There it is. There's one. And then we got another one here. Peel it off and stick it on. Try to get even with the other one there. And you only need two and it stands up just fine. Okay? So there it is. All right? Now, what you want to do is carefully, without breaking the glass, you want to put your pebbles down in there. You just want to cover the bottom so that that moss will not be sitting in any water should you overwater the put too much water in there. You just don't want it doing that. Okay? You don't want it sitting in there in the uh, in the water. So we put the the pebbles in the bottom like that, as you can see. And then we have the pebbles in there. And that will also add ballast to the jar, um, keeping it from tipping <coughs> so easy, even though the rubber feet, the rubber feet sometimes aren't positioned perfectly. Um, and if they aren't, you've got a little ballast in there because you now have weight in there. Next, we're going to plant the moss in there. It's really simple. All you have to do is lay it in. Just lay it in. So I'm going to just do it um, naturally, I just try to uh, do it uh, so that it looks natural and, and comfortable and and uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is a lighter colored moss, this one is lighter colored and I'm going to put that at the back because what I do with my gardens is I try to draw the eye, the human eye, to different points inside the gardens okay so that that way they see the whole garden if you put the lighter colored ones in only one spot and you don't have that change in contrast people will focus on one spot you don't want them to do that in a nice moss garden okay you want them to look at the whole thing so i'll just lay it in there like that and a little bit of this over here this is a different moss this is a different color i think i'm going to use this little piece right here I'm going to lay it in there like that, and I've got this little piece here, and I'm going to lay it in there like that, and I'm almost there. See, you, you see it's very simple. You can do this, and you will have so much fun, and you might be able to sell them too. People do like this sort of thing to buy for their kitchens. Now, what you can do is you also can, you can break up the pieces if you want. One way to do that is by hand, or you could take a, a small pair of scissors and cut it. I'm going to just tear a little bit off. I've done this many times, and it comes apart very easily. There we go. And I'm going to take this piece and just fill in this area in the back here. And then we're almost there. So now I have this nice little moss thing going on, but I want to add a few stones to the design. So I'm going to... And this will also, if you notice, these, these stones I chose were are lighter colored than the moss, so they're going to be a contrast and bring more interest to the piece. So I'm going to put this little stone back in here to draw attention to that portion back there. And then I think I may put this stone right along in here for a little bit more interesting contrast. And then I'll take my little piece of lichen here. And it's a very interesting little one. It almost looks like something from another planet. It's got these strange little funnels growing off of it. And I do include that in my, I do include a little bit of lichen every time I do send out my moss. So, um, and I really enjoy also collecting the moss. It's a, a very zen thing for me to do. I enjoy it. I take my dog out. We go looking for moss. In fact, you should watch for one of my videos on that because I do it. On video too so you can see it's really quite fun and maybe you'll find a nice little uh, a nice little place for you to find uh, uh, that sort of thing too so uh, you know moss of your own and your own enchanted forest now this is this house is a little bit tall for this garden but that's okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm just going to trim off a little bit of the wire it's a little bit too much so I'm going to use my wire cutters and, and watch just watch make sure there's no eyeballs nearby if you're not holding both ends, okay? I'm in here, uh, except for my dog, I'm alone, and she's way over there. 
So I'm just gonna cut off a piece. You see it just goes flat. Okay, I'm gonna see if it'll fit. I hope it'll fit. I'm putting in a little bit of an angle here. Let's see if I can get it in there. There we are. And there it is. Look at that. Isn't that just lovely? My, my, my. You just saw how it was made right here. Make yourself a moss garden. And you have a great day. And if you ever have any questions or anything about my classes or what I do, you know, a little bug in there. Um, then, you know, feel free to contact me. Visit my website, jacobfolger.com. There's really some interesting stuff on there. I do all kinds of art. I've been an artist for many years. Um, I'm a very energetic artist. Uh, I was just sitting here this evening and I said, you know what? I'm going to make a video on how to make a moss garden. And um, I, um, the house is actually still warm to the touch. Um, I just threw it together and I said, I'm going to make a moss garden for somebody. Somebody's going to see this and, and have some fun. Um, I'm like that with my art and I do all kinds of art. I'm a photographer. I'm an art photographer. I do uh, nature art. I make things out of my art like jewelry. So there's a lot of jewelry on my um, on my uh, web website. Um, I'm a sculptor. As you can see, I made that little house, but I also do far more complicated things and big things and little things. And I do lighting. I do mood lamps. I have a lot of fun. I'd love to share it with you. Visit my website. Give me a call sometime. We'll talk and share some good energy. And thank you for watching. Have a nice night.